Carlsbad in Southern California. It's become a mecca for researchers and pioneers in advanced technology. And one of those pioneering firms is riding high on a wave of success. Hi, my name is Kerry Gunn. I'm an expert in silicon photonics. In Southern California, there's, there's no wilderness, but there is the ocean. And uh, the ocean's full of waves, and uh, the way the waves interact with the surf and with surfers is uh, actually very similar to how light interacts and how light is, is manipulated and interacts with matter. So uh, my uh, venture into nature is actually surfing the waves, and then I go to work, and I, I work with waves during the day. It was in 2001 that Carrie Gunn, together with other renowned researchers, founded the Luxterra Company, today a world leader in silicon photonics. Some of the best things come in very small packages. <laughs> this is a, um, a silicon chip that's uh, got in at Luxterra's technology, which we call CMOS Photonics. And um, if you look at the small die right in the center, that's actually a, a piece of silicon that comes off of a wafer that's made in a uh, CMOS foundry like uh, Intel or IBM could make. And uh, this one happens to be made at Freescale. And inside of that chip, there's all of the standard electronics and transistors that you get in a normal microprocessor or a normal circuit. But in addition to all of that, we've put in optical functionality as well. So we can take light from a laser and uh, we can modulate it, we can split it, we can receive it. Uh, we have photo detectors. And uh, that allows us to build complete optical transceivers down inside the chip along with all the electronics. Up to now, a typical chip has been able to reach 10 gigabits per second. The unique integration of optical systems into standard CMOS devices has brought 40 gigabits per second within reach. And these chips are simple and economical to make. The award we've won is actually not for creating a new laser, uh, but for actually using a laser that's so small that it can barely be seen and actually doing new things with it. It's actually a, uh, a little larger than a grain of sand. Think small is the motto here. Smaller, faster, and more economical. I grew up uh, in a, a very big family farm that my family lived on for generations, and it was a big open farm uh, where you could walk for, for miles and miles without seeing any other houses or buildings. And uh, that's, I, I think, a very important thing to experience growing up, to be able to go out and have the, the freedom to roam and think and, and explore. So this is the copper cable that's the industry standard today. It's called a CX4 cable, and it's used in big data centers to connect computers together. Uh, this is actually a very small one. They, uh, are get, as they go longer distances, they get fatter and fatter uh, to almost the size of a garden hose. So they become uh, fairly thick, several centimeters across, and they have a limited range. They can only span about 15 meters uh, before they run out of steam, and they, they just can't connect computers together farther away than that. And by using laser light for communications, one of the key advantages is the ability to go to very long distances. So this is a spool of fiber with the Lux transceivers on either end, and this is actually a 300 meter spool of fiber. And this is nowhere close to reaching the limits of what we can go as far as reach. So uh, laser light has been used uh, to go under the oceans, under the Pacific Ocean, under the Atlantic Ocean, and uh, using very similar technology to what Luxterra has employed with silicon photonics. And what are the secrets of your success? Passion, knowledge, and creativity. <laughs> We're out surfing. I'm always uh, coming up with new ways to do things. <laughs>